Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbird. In front of us, we have the Enden Star. The model number is 8249S. This is a 10.1 inch HDMI digital microscope, 18 to 2000 times power. It has an endoscope attachment and also records in UHD and has window measurement software. These sell on Amazon for right around $295 at this moment. You can get a $20 off coupon, bringing the price down to about $275. So not bad. So here it is set up. Um, it's a big item. Uh, I'm not used to reviewing large items like this, but uh, it's cool and great for PCB inspections, uh, soldering, uh, looking closely, of course, taking pictures, video recording. Also, you can look at stamps, coins, anything small objects. Of course, you can go even finer detail and then look at uh, organisms under slides, which is really cool. So it comes with a lot of different features, and we're going to show them all to you, hopefully today. Um, dimensions, uh, we have a height <laughs> total here, about 18 inches, fully extended up. We have a width of 9 and 3 quarter inches going across. And front to back, we have a 10 inch depth. And I'll try to take the camera off the tripod and give you an idea of that, along with all the accessories. So let's actually do that. So I'm going to take this camera off here. Bear with me since this is the first time I've done this. So yeah, so you get a bunch of accessories, as you can tell. First, we'll look at the digital microscope. As you can see, it's got this cool color um, LCD. Loving it, 10.1 inch, HDMI. You can see there's two images there. Uh, there's the main image and then there's a small image. The smaller image is when you have the optional endoscope. And this kit came with the optional endoscope. Now. The one without the endoscope, I think you can save a bit of money. Um, so I'll have links to that one as well if you don't need the endoscope. But if you look at this image, it's looking at this PCB down here up close. And we're also looking at the USB port on the side with the endoscope there. So you can see, now that's pretty neat. Um, so the main thing is the screen. Over here on the top left, we have a record time. Uh, it's, I think it's recording at a high uh, resolution at the moment. Uh, not actually recording, but giving you an idea. You have three hours and 42 minutes of record time with the included 32 gigabyte micro SD card. It has Wi Fi connection. I don't know what that's used for, but uh, pretty cool. Down here, we have some controls on the front. Not sure if that's coming into focus, but there is a power button, a mode button, up and down for digital zoom, uh, OK to start shooting video, and of course, a picture icon there to take pictures with the microscope. And then looking down here, as you can see, we got a metal base. Uh, and then we have two LED lights that are uh, movable, which you can adjust the brightness on. Very nice. You can tilt the whole stand, I believe, about 45 degrees. There's a mount here for the endoscope here. The endoscope has its own light source and is controlled by a little controller there. And you can see there's a lot of wires to this. Um, and also you can zoom and focus uh, right here on the back end. This little aluminum spot here focuses the endoscope. So that's a neat setup. These wires can bounce around. Now the lenses, they give you three of them. This is lens A. Uh, lens A, I have it written down here, is uh, 12 millimeter by 320 millimeter distance, a uh, working distance, which is great. Uh, this one I use a lot. Uh, this is for stamp coin, uh, but I'm also using it for PCB work too, which is nice. It's a good one. Uh, there's two other, two other lenses in L and D, and I'll show those to you in a second. But to focus this, uh, you use the bottom knob, you know, do that. Bring it out of focus, bring the main image into focus. Try to get it back into perfect, there we go. Just by turning that thumb wheel here on the barrel. Nice. And two thumb screws to remove the lens. As you can see, the lens does have lots of information there. And again, excuse the lighting, it's just how it is in this room. It's gonna be how it is. So yeah, that's what I'm recording right there. Uh, so yeah, so looking up here, um, cool controls. Um, I'm gonna show you with the remote all the modes that this has. Uh, going over here to the back side, you can see the mounting hardware. Uh, there you go. How it's all set up. There's a retaining ring so this doesn't slide down on you. Uh, right here is the retaining ring. Okay, and of course your up and down adjustments. Uh, here is some micro fine adjustments here going up and down. All aluminum, by the way, um, very well built. Of course, you got a boom going front to back as well. Um, if you wanna bring your whole the whole unit back. And then, of course, on the back of the monitor, you'll see a bunch of connections. And we'll look and go through them. The first one is the endoscope there plugged in. The second is a micro SD card slot. Three LED status indicators. I'm not sure what they do. They don't really say much in the manual. Uh, we have a micro SD um, 
excuse me, micro USB power right here. Uh, it takes five volts, two amps in. So they provide you with an adapter um, down here on the table uh, to power your unit, nice. This is five volts, two amps. And I'm using an Xsense power bank. So this thing's portable, yes. My channel's all about portability and this is portable, so loving it. Uh, going back to the top here, you can see there's an HDMI output. This is up to a 28, 28 inch monitor uh, in their manual. You probably could go bigger, but I think you lose a little bit of resolution. Uh, so stick with the 28 inch if you're gonna go with a larger monitor. Keep in mind though, if you go with a larger monitor, you lose the video feed on the little monitor. So there you go, and there's a reset hole there next to it if it locks up. So yeah, neat device, all in one, which is very cool. And on the back down here, there's like a little plug-in, that's for the lights, that powers these two lights. You have to unplug that if you're using the microscopic box. So here's the microscopic box. This is what you set your uh, slides on if you're looking at 2000 power and you plug it in the back here and this lights up and you're able to view slides, which is awesome. I took some pictures and well, this thing has a playback mode, which is great. We're gonna show it to you too as well. Um, so accessories, um, yeah, so we're, I think we're pretty much done with the back of this. Uh, there's no audio, of course. <laughs> Um, control. So it comes with this controller, which is wild. This goes to the USB power source. You can turn on and off the device. Actually, just turns off everything and just turns on the lights, which is interesting. You have to. It's just odd how that works. Turns everything off. Turns only lights back on. Then you have to hit the power button on the front of the monitor. But it allows you to adjust the brightness of these LEDs, as you can see. Get nice and bright. So that is cool. So you can remotely do that while you're working on something. A foot switch would have been nice, but that's okay. You got that. Because you get, then you get your hands free to work on stuff. Uh, so there's the endoscope. Very cool. Uh, like in that, it's got a row of LEDs in a circle around here. And of course, like I was saying, this controls the brightness of those LEDs. Let me show you here. Brightening it up. There you go. You can see how that's brightening there. Nice. All right, cool. And of course, we have lots and lots of accessories. We have a cool little box. I was like, what's this for? I looked it up. It is a box for putting little bugs in. <laughs> uh, they give you a starter kit for looking at little organisms. They give you five slides. I took some pictures of some of them. Uh, they give you hookups uh, for putting the slides and objects under. Nice. Uh, we have five different attachments for the endoscope. Uh, pretty much just uh, different tips to focus the light. And of course, you get a mirror there. Nice. Not get too much detail, but give you an idea what you get. You get a thing that says spare parts. Awesome. In case you lose something or break it. Showed you that, showed you the power. Uh, getting on to the cabling, they give an extra cable here if you're going to USB to computer. Um, that's for the measurement software. Uh, they have a download link, and I believe in the instructions. They don't give you a disk, so you have to download it. But it uh, allows you to measure uh, the pictures, which is really cool. So when you take a picture, it'll tell you how you know what the millimeters are. Nice. And of course, over here, we have they give you the extension for the uh, external HDMI. So if you have that extra monitor, Goes to mini, I believe, to normal. Uh, so that's for your optional monitor. Nice. And of course, we have the remote control. This thing's cool. Uh, allows us to take pictures. So if I'm sitting here, I can hit the red button. So I can back up here. And it takes a picture of what's on the screen. There we go. Actually, yeah, you saw that flash. Okay, and then it has like a a freeze, so if you're working on something, you can freeze the image. Uh, it has menu, uh, and we'll, we'll do the menu here in a second. Um, we have a mode button. I'll show you the mode here. Of course, we got uh, zoom up, so we can zoom in three times, which is nice. Three digital, three time digital zoom. Uh, we have the brightness control here with the light. That's handy to have. All right, right on the controller. Um, we have a crosshair, so we can add little crosshairs to it. I don't know if you can see that. Put the little red lines in. Gets more involved than that too if you want to grid your project. Uh, also, of course, we have sharpen contrast, and we have inverse, so we can inverse inverse our image. There you go. If you're trying to inspect something, very cool. And then we have the uh, black and white. Boom. Now it's only doing on the main one. If you look at the endoscope, still in color, just controls the main microscope. And then uh, we can change the way that shows the endoscope by hitting this little uh, NTL PAL. So I'm just gonna, I'm just demoing this pretty much to give you an idea. So now we got the main microscopic image. There you go, main lens. Now we got the endoscope, which is looking at the USB port. 
Um, as you can see, it's up close. Now, of course, I think it's out of focus because I was messing with it. Let's see if we can get that into focus here. I'm going to just turn. There we go. So you can look back into something. There you are. Or look close to the front of that USB port. And you can expect for cracks or problems, can, you know, contacts, things like that. That's pretty neat. And, of course, you can take a picture of that if you wanted to. And we can switch back to our picture-in-picture -picture by hitting that same button. Of course, aiming it at the monitor. There we go. There's picture-in-picture. -picture. Let's just go right to the microscope. And we'll hit it again. Okay, I must not be aiming it at it. Okay, so there we go. And then, of course, you can flip the image. There's a button here that lets you flip it. There you go. Upside down if you need to do that. So very cool, enjoyable. Um, so yeah, we're going to demo here in a second. I wanted to show you the manual. So the manual is down here. I guess I'm just going to have to free hold this. <laughs> it's not something I wanted to do, but hey, we're going to just hold it, work with this. This is fun. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, yeah, they give you all the things here. Safety maintenance. Just going to go on slow here now. There you go. So video resolution, it's pretty awesome. It does uh, ultra high definition. Um, it does full HD, 60 frames to 30 frames a second. It also does regular HD at 120 frames a second. I'd pretty much be using the full HD at 30 frames. That's usually enough. MP4 format, uh, beautiful. Uh, you can see lens A, uh, the times, you get 18 to 720 times. Lens D is for your microscope, microscope 1800 to 2400, or excuse me, 2040 and then the lens L is 60 by 200 X that one has that more working distance 90 millimeter to 300 I believe millimeter you got the three to three times digital zoom 20 inch monitor yeah okay here's their working distance for the lenses so the first one's 12 to 320 the microscope one's four to five millimeters very close to the slide so be careful not to smash into it and that's why you have that stop lens L is 90 to 300 millimeters now it also does pictures, as you can see max resolution is uh, 5600 to 4200, very nice, 24 megapixels. Um, of course it says uh, up to 30 gigabyte storage, which is decent for what it's doing. Okay, and what it runs on, very simple. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're just going to flip through this pretty quick. Some video demonstrations. Um, I just pretty much showed you all this stuff here. You know, that's pretty basic, uh, showing how to set it up. L, there you go. It says it's circuit board observations, watch repair, etc. Um, like I said, I was using L and it seemed like it was magnifying pretty heavy, so I went with the A and it's, it seems like it's a little less and I'm happy with that. So I'm using A. <laughs> this one right here. Yeah, 18 times. That's probably what I like about it because it goes lower mag. There you are. And of course, uh, you can use it not just for coins, but for PCB as well. That's what I'm doing. Of course, it tells you how to attach it. And over here is lens D. Uh, there's your uh, setup with the microscope uh, going really close, 2,000 times power, with the light coming out of this light box instead of the two side lights. Um, you hook it up to the light box instead, and you put the slide in there and take some pictures. It looks really cool, by the way. If you guys are into that uh, as a side thing, you're going to love this. It's just amazing. We didn't have these as kids. <laughs> we had the simple, with the mirror, try to catch the light from the room. You guys remember those. Um, so you can save files, you can record. There's recording, video, taking photos, like I mentioned, and then playing back, which is neat. You can play back the videos right onto the screen itself. And of course, uh, with the remote control, you can see, let's kind of zoom on in, in case I missed anything. But I pretty much covered that when I showed you the remote control. Basic stuff, flipping the image, and you got inverse the image, which is that. Turns that like red, you know, opposite uh, colors. And then black and white. There you go. Here's the settings. We're going to go over the menu settings in the monitor real quick. And we'll kind of finish it up. It's pretty basic. I'll do playback of some of the stuff I did. So there you go. And this is all these different things cross line. And you can add this grid work with different colors. It gets pretty intense, like I said. And you can adjust the width, the vertical and horizontal of those lines. So that you can have grids to say, you know, yellow grid area in this picture do this and you know like if you're designing very nice date and time setting that's cool it actually remembers even when you unplug the power which i was surprised it has a built-in clock uh, so you can date and time stamp your videos or pictures uh, that is cool all right 
So saving, when you save a setting, you turn off the power of the monitor and switch it back on. Yep, and you notice I had to do that. We're almost through with this. Um, then it goes into output. You got HDMI output there. I know I'm probably not holding this steady enough, but hey, you guys are there. And we're going to get to using it. Just wanted to go over this for posterity. Here's the uh, PC software. It does a ton of stuff, as you can see, for measuring, uh, if you're into this and you need this. So uh, they have the download link. I think the download link is right there for the software. Boom, screenshot it. Windows uh, framework up to Windows 10. Okay, it has Windows XP. Did you see that? <clears throat> Who has Windows XP still? Raise your hand. <laughs> I bet you some of you do. I still have a computer that runs XP. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we're pretty much done. This talks about the software and calibration. <clears throat> okay, yeah, here's how to calibrate it. Okay, so there you are, measuring. And if you got some questions, okay, that's about the software, I think, and how the microscope can be switched on. All right, there you are. All right, and that is pretty much done, I believe, and warranty. Some more questions. Boom, okay, we're done with this. So let's... I guess put this back on the tripod. This will be fun. And then we'll do some playback here. Study this image a bit, huh? Driving me nuts bouncing around. There we go. <laughs> Give my hand a break. So here we are. We're going to just bring this up a little bit. Bring it around a little. And then we're going to um, I'm gonna see if I can use the remote here and show you a playback of what it has on here. So we're going to go ahead and hit the menu first. Okay, so if you look at his resolution, so we can change the resolution uh, for record. So it's HD. Oh, we are in a different mode here. Hang on one second. That's what we're in the wrong mode. So let me just uh, exit this. Okay, well, I think I was in the right mode. Okay, excuse me. So for menu, uh, resolution, hit this. There's more options. Okay, I had to go up. So if you look here, we have. HD uh, 30 frames, HD 60 frames, HD 120 frames, progressive, piece progressive, I guess. Uh, full HD, progressive 30 frames, full HD 60, uh, QHD 30 frames, and then ultra high definition, uh, progressive mode 24, mo 24 frames a second. So not bad. Uh, if you guys are seeing that, pretty good. All right. So we'll go back over here. We got exposure settings. You can adjust those. Um, we need to do... Let's go back, we got date and stamp, we can turn it on and off. Um, I think I'll turn, well, I'll just leave it on because I don't want to turn a thing on and off. Sharpness, freeze, similar to what's on the remote. Contrast, color. If we go over, let's see, to get to the second menu, you have to exit and tap it twice. There we go. You have Wi-Fi, you have the grid line setting, date and time, you can set language, um, hertz frequency for the monitor, formatting the SD card if it's not working, and of course, a default setting. So, and then version, what version we're on. There's the version if you need it. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into play mode. So let me get out of here. Just got to aim this right. So play mode, um, we're going to hit the mode here, and you'll see a change. Uh, we're right now we're in photograph mode. And um, what I want to do is I want to get out of this endoscope. There we go. So I can take a photograph right now, which is cool, with the little red button. Let's see that red button here. Show us, take a picture. Okay, it did. There's a little icon that flashed up there. Uh, all right, and then um, we'll get to see that picture in a moment. I think it's out of focus a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> uh, pretty. This is the DSP, by the way, on this radio chip that I'm showing. Is our radio board? Uh, there's the uh, chip. There's an amplifier here, 8002A. Uh, but yeah, our DSP right there. Very cool. Uh, it's neat to inspect, or especially if you're doing fine work, fine soldering work. Uh, so let's change from picture mode to uh, playback mode. So right now we're in playback mode. If you look, it did the time and date stamp right here, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And uh, so, yeah, we just, uh, I think, go up and down. So there's a picture of the, I think I took with the endoscope by accident. <laughs> picture of the board we took earlier. All right, I'm going up here. So, yeah, we're just going through the different pictures I took. There we go, really close up of the legs of the DSP. The DSP itself with the numbers. It's a weather radio, by the way. Okay, microscope, yeah, so right now we're zoomed in on a picture that I took, nice. 
And uh, yeah, these microscopes are pretty cool. This is, I think, 2000 magnification. I think this is a bee wing, honey bee wing. And uh, yeah, different images. Now this, I believe, is a cutout uh, of a plant. Just neat color. And here is a video. Okay, so it's got video controls. Let's hit OK to play it. So now we're playing. There's a little counter going on there. So I took this video, um, it runs about a minute, and I kind of just moved the PCB around like you were inspecting it and say you wanted to show it. So you could actually send this file to somebody. Um, it looks like it's in full HD, uh, 30 frames a second, showing when it, the uh, file format there. And of course, you can see the time and date. I took this on the 23rd of June. And of course, there's our time on the bottom right there. Um, of course, this won't, this won't appear. This control setting here won't appear on the video if you're uh, exporting it, say, to YouTube or something. Uh, but very cool, especially if you're looking at specimens. Um, you can see like live organisms running around on the slide, and you can be recording that too. So just a really cool thing. NSTAR is an amazing product. They have a ton of these microscopes out there that fit any budget. They have them down to 50 bucks, I think, or 70 bucks, all the way up to like six, 700 for the pro models that are used probably in a, a major industry shop. But as you can see, this does quite a bit. Pretty impressed with this. So yeah, I think we're almost done with this uh, one minute thing. And there we go, stopped. All right, great. So um, I think that was pretty much all the things I did with this. Let's go up one more. I think we're back to the pictures. And they, yeah, there's there, my first picture I ever took with it. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so there it is, the Anastar. So I can bring this back a little bit so you get a full idea how big it is. And there you are, the full thing. And my cat's going to say hello. So there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, just pretty, pretty much a basic uh, overview of what it can do. Um, like I said, the price is around $2.95 minus the coupon, $20 off, brought to $2.75. Um, again, there's other ones a lot less, under $200, some $100, $150. And hey, my cat's going to run around. Better not jump on the table. <laughs> I hear you, kitty. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for one, definitely use the links below. I'll have them supplied there down below. <laughs> Uh, just a really cool device. I'm pretty happy with it. Just looking here to see if I missed anything. Nah, I think I've got most of it there covered. Just a really cool product in general. And they give you quite a bit for your money. So if you enjoyed the video, give a big like. Um, is it worthy? Uh, yes, it is. If it's if you're going to be doing stuff, the cat agrees. <laughs> uh, if you're doing work uh, on uh, PCBs, this is perfect. Uh, if you're doing like uh, kits and you don't want to be wearing a headset or use a loop, uh, this is fantastic. It just makes the job so much easier. Uh, for most people that have visual problems, this is fantastic. Um, of course, if you're into the microscope stuff, there you go. You got your slides and everything else. Um, of course, too, if you like Anastar products, you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of anything I add to this setup. Uh, I'll be using this, by the way, for the channel uh, to show you guys inside of radios, repairs. Now I can just do a video of the board and then upload it to you guys. So very cool. And then, of course, three, comment below what you think about this particular model. This model was the AD249S-M. Uh, if you're looking for it, this is with the optional uh, endoscope included, so it raises the price up a bit. Uh, I think an extra 50 to 70 bucks, if I remember. Um, so give you an idea. Let me know what you think down below uh, about this product and what do you think in general. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.